Now you know more about the tools and equipment you should do to make great videos. But how do we structure a video that sells? This is really where the marketing part of video production comes into play. My first piece of advice is to make it about story and not the sale. People are smart and if you're just selling something, unless that person is already in that interest part of the funnel, if they're just really engaged and interested in your brand and they're about to make that purchase, most people will turn it off. They'll click to another video, they'll click to another web page, and it's so easy for them to do that, so don't give them a reason to. That's why we wanna make our videos about story. This doesn't mean that we have to make the next Star Wars or that we can't try to sell our products or services in our videos. How does your product benefit that customer? How does it change their life? Make a video about that. Watch television nowadays and watch the Super Bowl com commercials. You know, these commercials, they're smart. Most of them are just a story and maybe there's a product within that story that is what they're actually making the commercial about. And if it's not about a story, it could be educational. That's where my videos come into play for my company. I do a lot of educational tutorials that drive sales to my other products and services, but it starts with teaching. It's not about the sale. My next tip is to make the first five seconds epic. Most people are going to be watching your videos online and we're not talking about YouTube ads right now where you know people can skip after the first five seconds of a video, although this does matter for that. But in any video, you gotta make that first five seconds epic. So that means not having a long drawn out intro, not having a lot of like titles in the beginning, just getting straight into the video itself. People are going to decide if they wanna watch your video within that first five seconds. So if it's boring or if it's long, they're just gonna click away. My next tip is to show your personality, especially if you're doing marketing for your own company, this is where you can shine. You know, show who you are, talk, be yourself. People will love you more if you are acting like yourself rather than trying to be like someone else. And video is the perfect place to showcase that. So let them in on some secrets. Let them in on your story. Let them in on your hardship. Let them in on why you created your company or your product. This is where sort of that vlog or that video blog style video can come into play and can be really beneficial. You can just have people follow you around and show them what your day is like. Show them what your office is like. Show them what your product does for, for you. And then lastly, for every marketing video, make sure you remember your call to action. There are three quick ways to have a call to action. One is through the video itself and the video or the audio. So this is literally you talking or whoever's on camera saying, hey, do this. Hey, click this button. Hey, go to this website. Hey, come on down to the store this weekend. And they hear you and they see you. The next is through graphics. So this is also a visual thing, but this is more putting up on the screen, click this button or call 1-800 or email me at this address or visit this website. That's what your call to action is. And then wherever you post your videos, use your description wisely. This is where you can include links. And then on YouTube, there's other tools like cards or end screens. Facebook doesn't have this right now, but who knows what they're going to be rolling out in the future. But a clickable video where people can actually just click right within the video and be taken to really wherever you want to take them. Your call to action also doesn't have to be at the very end of a video. Most people don't watch videos through the very end. You can have a call to action at the beginning or at the middle. Make sure though if it's earlier on that your video is still about story, it's entertaining, or that you're leading up to something, it's building curiosity so people don't click away. If at the beginning you're like, hey, click this button to buy this product, you wanna make sure people don't just click away off of your video. So those are just some quick tips for structuring a video that sells.